Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. For this episode, to start off the day, we're going to be harvesting some radishes and replanting them, as well as harvesting some tomatoes. But not long after that, we're going to be hightailing it over to the town square in order to participate in the sheep festival. Now, an interesting point about this sheep festival is that if your sheep does not have its wool, it will not be considered a happy, healthy adult, or not happy, a healthy adult animal. And I don't particularly know why that is, but basically you can't participate with a sheep that's had its, that's been sheared. Now, you may not have realized this, but at the end of the last episode, all of our sheep had their wool sheared, which means that we can't participate in the sheep festival. Excuse me, Cookie, I'm a little bit busy. And if you were very astute, you also might have noticed while we were harvesting the radishes that there actually was a sheep with its wool. So what happened? Well, I spent a good hour and a half to two hours today redoing the days of the previous episode and not shearing any of the sheep. So all of the sheep are unsheared and can participate. And Espeon is actually at five stars. Here, let me show you. Espeon's actually at five stars, which, I mean, we could try and enter Espeon, just, you know, hopefully to get lucky, but I would much rather we enter in Glaceon or Vaporeon. Uh, that's a much safer bet as to whether for us to win this. And, well, I really don't want to be bringing this series into year six, trying to win it again if we don't win it this time. And, well, even then, it's not certain. Um, unlike other Ranch Story games, you can still lose a festival with an animal at 10 hearts in this game. It's just rather unlikely. But it's happened before. And we just gotta hope. Because I'm not save scumming it. You might think that what we did qualifies as save scumming. And I respect you. I respect your thoughts on that. But I, I, I'm, I make trying to make some videos. Okay, I don't want to be not being able to participate in the sheep festival just because it requires that the animal has its wool, which I was not even thinking about. So anyway, because that would make you guys miss out on it, and I don't want you guys to miss out on that. Anyway, other than that, after after that, tomorrow is the bazaar, and then I think there might be a birthday on Monday. No, there's no birthday, but there is Raul's birthday, although we already wrap everything we give him, so that's not all that relevant. Oh, did not mean to do that. My goodness, I'm just missing everybody with these, aren't, aren't I? One of the really nice things about festivals in this game is they provide you a very easy way to get gifts to everybody that you'd be wanting to be giving gifts to. Because they are all right here, except for Miko and Raul and Amir. Which reminds me, Raul here. We're going to have to stop off at the hotel later. And give Amir some milk, but for now, we can go ahead and start the festival. Today is the sheep festival! Are you entering? Yes. Great! Choose an animal! So, as I've mentioned many, many times before, you want to pick the youngest animal you have that's at 10 hearts or more, and unfortunately for us, or not 10 hearts or more, at 10 hearts. Um, unfortunately for us, the youngest animal we have at 10 hearts is Glaceon. And hopefully, Glaceon will succeed. Great! Let's get started! 
But we really don't have any input on it. We, it does, like, there's nothing we can do. Welcome to the Sheep Festival! Here are the contestants! Number one, Ray! Number two, Bateman! Number three, Boomer! Boomer's not like, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win! Everybody's just like, shut up, Boomer. The rules today are very simple! The animal that reaches its owner first is the winner! We're testing the strength of your bond! It's a battle of love! Now let's get this sheep festival started! All hearts. Hearts all around. Oh no. I think that Suffolk, the, the question mark, makes it more likely to, to do the whole dash thing. So we might... Oh no. We might just lose. Nope. Oh goodness. That could have been bad. But... Hey, we got it. Bravo! The results are... Third place, Bateman! Second place, Boomer! And the winner is... Ray! Congratulations! Next year's Livestock Festival is the Cow Festival! Make sure to start forging those bonds with your cows! I'm going to be looking forward to it! <gasps> Delay me, I almost forgot! Here's your prize for winning! And this adamantite is used to make rings. Once we unlock the Purple Wonderful this winter. But anyway. Oh, we forgot to give Isaac pancakes. This is very nice, thank you very much. Thank you for declaring me the winner in this perfectly uh, fair contest. Yes, it was 100% fair. No advantage was given to the local farmer whatsoever. And we can go ahead and have some potato pancake or some yakisoba. Victory yakisoba. That's true. That's true. The judge's daughter is my wife. I am the judge's son-in-law. Although, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe that would be, that would count against me, against my chances of winning. Nah, Felix loves me. And I love Felix. And it doesn't help that we still need Chen to sell oil. I mean, look at this. Look at this. That is 87 Jersey milk. 87 two and a half star Jersey milk. 90 in total. We have 90 Jersey milk to turn into butter. And Chen's just not selling oil. We're gonna need to buy two stacks of oil just to cover the backlog of the Jersey milk that we have now, and then also the Jersey milk that we'll be getting in the future. Yo. Not to mention the golden eggs, but that's like very, very small percentage of, of what's the, of the issue. Yo. Five star corn. Yo. Our corn is now at five stars. Nice. Yo. Well then, uh, we don't really need to fertilize the corn anymore, do we? Yo. We can just get a whole bunch of corn seeds off of it. This is the power of high quality fertilizer. I say it so often. But I I love it so much. And yep, sure enough, the cauliflowers. Fully grown. Okay. We might be a little late to the bazaar this week. So yeah, after um after those last spinach seeds that we planted are grown. Or the, or the carrot seeds, I don't know which ones will grow first. After those are grown, then we can go ahead and switch over to spring crops in our, in our greenhouse, so. And please, yes, look, oil, oil. Doesn't look black though, I've told, I've been told that oil is black gold, but that, speaking of gold, <gasps> it's just the perfect day at the bazaar, isn't it? Chen selling oil. L Not Lloyd. Yes, Lloyd. I'm tr I'm sorry, I'm still getting his name wrong. Um, Lloyd selling gold. Oh. Oh. Today's just such a great day for a bazaar, isn't it? 
Yo, Ray, how are things going? Welcome to my shop. Cool, let's hang out. Go away. I want to tell him to go away, but welcome to my shop. What a cool greeting. Not, but I guarantee you'll get a lot of customers with that cheesy greeting. E. Yarn. Walnuts. Pumpkins. Hmm, you have a lot of things on sale. Do you like running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. Oh, we'll just say, yeah, it's fun. I see. You really work hard at everything you do. I don't hate that about you. Antoinette, please. I'm married. We still have a ways to meet the goal, but we might be able to do it. Before the end of the day. No. Yeah, okay, but where's that sea urchin? That I tossed back here. Uh, okay, it's gone, I guess. Well, okay. Actually, we didn't check to see if uh, Diego is selling the wonderful, the new wonderful. Is it the, it's not the green one, is it? I always forget which one it is. Yeah, no, okay. You can only sell us one of these. Well, okay. Regulations, you know. Anyway. Uh, so since Diego doesn't have that, oh, and I forgot to open the the thing about for the names of the animals. All right, let's see. Are there any are there any sil silkies? No, there are still no s silky chicks. So it's fine that I didn't open it. I guess. All right, I guess we'll start with the fortune teller. Welcome, welcome. Would you like old fortune red? It's just 100G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is white. Being honest will bring you happiness. So, did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back anytime. Well, honesty is the best policy. It is true. People... Well, I'm not gonna go into that. So, first one, and it's a brick. That's fine. I'm already a winner. I'm already a winner because Lloyd is selling gold and Chen is selling oil. Fourth place prize, material stone. Perfect. So brick, material stone, brick. Third place prize, chestnuts. Okay. Not so bad. But I think this is going to be another losing day. And honey. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not going to cover the cost. So, all right, now it's time to sit here for the next hour and a half and wrap presents. All right, so let's check out, because I don't think we've... Have we seen that thing in the middle? Maybe. But, okay, yeah. Oh. Have we tried giving Okonomiyaki? I don't think so. Uh, 17, I think, is the number that we're getting. Here you go. Let me know how you like it. So, Okonomiyaki. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's 18. That's right. So, we, because we also want to have one for ourselves. Here you go. Let me know how you like it. Okay. Uh, do you mean the doggos that were barking in real life? Well, uh, those aren't my dogs. The, these doggos are my sister's dogs. Well, actually, they're my, my sister's boyfriend's dogs. My brother-in-love, as he is known. Um... It's Lincoln and Nisa, and I've named two of the dogs in this in this playthrough after them. All right, we we are going to get two full stacks of oil, just so that we can be assured that we will have them. And just wanted to check to see if Roll had onions. I didn't think he would. I'm pretty sure that's not something that he'll have until next year, but. Um, pumpkin soup. Okay. We'll get 18 of those. Uh, 
Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. And what do you got here? That thing in the middle looks like some... Oh, Vichyssoise. Oh, fish and chips. Okay, we have fish. So Vichyssoise. And then we can go ahead and spend most of the rest of our money on gold. We can also, we can play once with the Super Lucky Lotto, but we'll be able to start playing with gold coins next week. All right. Sixth place, oh, okay. Such is life, such is life. That's fine. Hello there, welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? It's 100G, okay, sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. Everyone in town loves the river. Have you ever tossed trash into the river? When you do that, everyone will become angry with you. So be careful, okay? If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. I did accidentally toss something in the river last week, or yesterday, rather. I'm sorry. All right. So we can get 20... 22 gold. Probably is fine, actually. We'll have more than enough for anything that we... I just bought 22 gold from you. I put you above and beyond the goal. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that, Lloyd? Anyway. So, 370 for the honey... 370 for the bottled chestnuts and uh, 100 for the material stone. So that's 840 G from 1500 G playing again. Gambling doesn't pay off, kids. Don't don't gamble. Honey, chestnuts. Milk, eggs. Actually, wait, hold on. I uh, need to put out the scrap metal. Eggs, material stone, scrap metal. Yeah, we're not going to win on reputation, are we? We might get third in sales, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we can hope for. Oh, wait, no. That's right. Roll's birthday is this week. I was thinking, oh wait, there was a birthday this Friday, isn't there? Uh, what do I get wrapped? And it's like, well, I already got it wrapped. Because everything I give him is wrapped. So. It's good. It's good. So, sorry, I was wondering if you knew where L Lloyd was. Down to the right. Th thank you so much. I'm a very big fan of Lloyd, you see. Thank you again. We, we still might get third. But we're not gonna... We're not gonna sell all of our stuff, it looks like. Unfortunately. Well, that's it for the bazaar today. Thank you everyone for coming. I hope we'll see you all again next time. Time to close your stand. So far you've earned 143,000 G. Still have ways to meet, go to meet the goal. Yeah. Unfortunately. Great, looks like everybody is here. It's time to announce the bazaar results. Our top three earners in third place with 143,000 G. That's us. Ray, congratulations. In second place with 176,000 G. Jones Store, congratulations! And in first place with 246,000 G. Lloyd Store, congratulations! You are welcome, Lloyd. Thank you for stocking gold. I appreciate it. And the person with the happiest customers was... Lloyd! The customer said your service was top-notch! You've all done the down proud! Keep up the good work! 
Pickle Bean in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks. A pickled carrot. I hope you like it. Our goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now closer than ever. Let's work together to get this done. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. I think we're about a half a million away from getting the um, from getting the bazaar to 100%. So very, very close. And hey, first batch of pineapples are done. And let's see what the one on the end is. Five stars, just like the corn. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're finally getting our crops to do the five star stuff. And actually, I don't think we. I think I forgot to fertilize them last yesterday. Just because it was a very, very hectic day with the bazaar and all that. But uh, yeah. Well, isn't that nice? Alright then, we've got 5 star um, pineapple, 5 star corn, and probably our next harvest of tomatoes will be 5 star as well. Yo. And still no golden egg. That's fine. Yo. Yo. And hopefully the Tao Trio isn't too upset over us ignoring our chickens for two days in a row. Yo. We'll see. Yo. Yo. And... yes. So not do much damage. I mean, like, if it happens every once in a while, where you end up not stethoscoping your chickens for two days in a row, or not bellying or talking to your sheep or cows for two days in a row, or things like that, then that's fine. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just because as long as you're doing this, and as long as you're getting them let out, either with yourself or with aunt, or with your pets, you know, as long as, as long as all that's going on, it should be fine. Um, because you'll recover the lost friendship points pretty quickly. It's if you do it consistently. For example, if you are testing to see if you really need to stethoscope your chickens every day or if them being let out every day will be enough. You getting good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. Oh, thanks. Oops. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? This is very nice. Thank you very much. Yo. And so pumpkin soup is one of those rare dishes that either Wilbur or Felix likes, but the other is not particularly fond of. We didn't get the uh, the cat toy yesterday, did we? No, we did not. And now it's missing. So yeah, that's something that happens. If you're not careful with the cat toy, um... If you don't remember to, to actually grab it once your cats are done playing with it, it will just go away. I guess we can call this the hopes and dreams episode, because man did our hopes and dreams come for true. Not only did we win the sheep festival, but we also got oil from Chen and gold from Lloyd. And uh, yeah, so a lot of good stuff, but unfortunately that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.